Are you wondering how to create AI podcasts with a voice clone that sounds just like you? And no, I'm not talking about Notebook LM, as this is a great free tool, but that's its biggest downside right now, is you can't use your own voice and actually publish podcast episodes. So in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to create an AI podcast, and also how to create an AI voice clone that sounds just like you. So be sure to stick around for the entire video. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan, and my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you want to know my favorite AI tools and prompts that I'm using for marketing and content creation, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this below this video. But now let's get back to creating AI podcasts. So the tool I'm going to be using in this tutorial is called Eleven Labs. And I'm assuming that a lot of you have heard of Eleven Labs right now. It's a very popular AI tool for text-to-speech technology. And in order to do what I'm about to show you, just being fully transparent, you must be on the creator plan if you want to create your own professional voice clone, as it says right here. Now, it does have 50% off the first month, so I'd recommend trying it for a month. And if you don't like it, you can just cancel. But I want to be transparent about this is that you must have the creator plan in order to create your own professional voice clone for what I'm about to show you. And before I dive in, I want to play a quick example of what I just created using Eleven Labs right before recording this video, just so you guys can get a better understanding of what this sounds like. I'm your host, Ryan Doser, and in this first episode, we're tackling a huge topic, how generative AI is transforming marketing. If you've heard the... So you guys get the point there. That sounds very close to how I'm sounding right now. I was shocked, and it took some fine-tuning for sure, and I'm going to explain that in this video, but I'm shocked to see how close that actually sounds to my voice right now. So once you set up an account with Eleven Labs, and if you're following along, the very first thing that I'm going to show you is how to create that AI voice clone that sounded just like the example that I just played for you. So what you want to do from the main screen here is on the left-hand side, you should see an option for voices. So click that. And what you'll notice right away are all these default AI voices that Eleven Labs has in its library. But we don't want that, right? We want to create our own voice clone. So right here, click Add a New Voice. And here's the option that we want. It's called professional voice clone. You can do all these instant voice clone voice designs, but the outputs of professional voice clone are far superior than these other options. Now, just a quick disclaimer here, you only get one professional voice clone per creator plan. Now, if you upgrade, you can get more, but you only get one professional voice clone. So make sure that you create it wisely. So I'm going to click professional voice clone. And this is going to take me to a menu that looks like this. Basically just saying, you know, some tips and tricks on what you should do to have the best output possible. Click I hereby confirm, click start. And this is where it gets very important, right? So the first thing that we want to do is give it a name. I'm just going to do my name, um, Ryan Dozer AI voice clone. We'll just do that. And then obviously I'm, I want it in English. You can do whatever language or name that you want. This is where it gets really important here. This is where we're gonna provide the audio data that Eleven Labs is gonna to use to train on and create a voice clone. So just like anything in AI, the more quality audio files that you get of you talking, the more quality outputs that you will receive in your voice clone. And so what I recommend doing for this is if you have a YouTube channel, this is perfect, right? You can convert all these videos to MP3 files, or if you have a podcast, same thing here. All you wanna do is search YouTube to MP3 MP3 converter and then convert your YouTube videos or podcast episodes to MP3 files. When I first did this, I tried uploading MP4 files and those file sizes were way too big. So just a quick tip right there. And so for this example, I have three MP3 files ready to go of YouTube videos. And so what I'm going to do is drag those over right here. And what you'll notice down here, here are my files, right? So I, uh, these are all three of my YouTube videos. I think one's actually a podcast episode of me talking. And so all of this combined is about two hours worth of audio. When I first set up my voice, I had about 10 videos worth, right? And just like anything in AI, the more quality inputs that you provide, the more quality outputs that you will get. And the same applies to an AI voice clone. Now, the next important thing that we need to do is provide a description. Now, you can write one if you can think of one off the top of your head, but let's actually use AI to help us with this. So what you can do is come over to ChatGPT, and if you have a custom GPT, 
or a project that understands you, I'd recommend starting there. So in this Ryan Dozer project, I'm going to provide a prompt that reads the following. I'm trying to create an AI voice clone and need your help. In two sentences, can you describe my voice based on what you know about me, right? The memory capability of ChatGPT. Then I said, come up with a description. For example, 29 year old American male voice. So I'm going to give it some pretext to know what it can do. So I'm going to click enter here and then it's going to come up with a description that I can use for my AI voice clone. Here it is a 29 year old American male voice characterized by a confident yet approachable tone with a slight Midwestern inflection that resonates clarity, authority, and relatability. So that's, I am located in the Midwest. So that's crazy. Um, so I'm going to copy and paste that description right here come back to 11 labs, paste it right here, and then I'm going to click create professional voice. And this will take a couple minutes for this to finalize. So I'm gonna skip ahead and wait till this is complete. All right, and so the final step here is verification of your voice. Obviously, Eleven Labs doesn't want people spoofing others' voices, creating deep fake audio, things like that. And this part is very self-explanatory, so I'm gonna actually do verification on my own and then come back once it's complete. And so once you've successfully verified your voice, go ahead and click finish. And now it's going to say fine tuning in progress. So the voice clone will take maybe two to six hours for this to complete. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff 11 Labs has to figure out to get this correct. So then I'm going to click continue. And then it should take me back to voices, as you'll see right here. Here's my AI voice clone right here. And if you click personal, this is where you can find it. Now, unfortunately, I can't use yet. I do have to give it a little time to process. So I'm going to come back once my new AI voice clone is fully processed. All right, so 11 Labs successfully generated my AI voice clone. That did take a couple hours, just being honest, and I would give it about 24 hours in total as it does take 11 Labs time to go through all the data that you uploaded, sort some things out on the back end. So just give it a full 24 hours before you actually use it for a podcast or any sort of project that you're going to publish. So now that we have our AI voice clone, the next step that we want to do is create an AI podcast. And in order to do that, on the left-hand side, click Projects. And once you click Projects, you should see an option here called Create a Podcast. It's called Gen FM in 11 Labs. So go ahead and click that. And this is going to give you an option to choose your host voice, guest voice, your model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my AI voice clone the host voice. And here you can just choose any of the default voices uh, as kind of that secondary voice here. So I'm just going to click Eric. You can play them if you want to listen to them really quickly. I would leave the model and quality as is. But when it comes to the actual podcast here, I'm going to show you how to edit this in more detail here in a little bit. But what you want to do is just give it some sort of URL. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy and paste my AI marketing essentials guide. I'm going to come back to 11 labs, paste it in here where it says import URL, and then I'm going to click generate. And then I'm going to come back after this is complete. All right. So once your podcast has been created, I'd recommend testing it really quickly just to see what the voice sounds like. And in order to do this, you want to click this drop down right here and you should see an option that says play until the end. So go ahead and click that and we'll test it really quick. What if everything we assume about expensive AI marketing tools is completely wrong? Today's story about a marketer who built a $50,000 monthly revenue stream using just $100 in AI tools completely challenges that assumption. So that's close, right? Honestly, that's not as good as the first AI voice clone that I created. So I'm going to actually create a new one after I get done recording this video, but I just wanted to do it from scratch so you guys can see what it sounded like. So now let's get to the good stuff here. Let's say you want more control and customization over what 11 Labs produces for you by default. I don't like that I have two voices here. Maybe I wanna do a solo podcast episode. Also, maybe I wanna kinda of insert my own script or text here versus that one URL that it provided earlier. Well, what you can do is open up a new window for ChatGPT, Claude, or any LLM really, and what you can do is prompt it with something like the following. I'd recommend doing this in a chat GPT project or a custom GPT just to get outputs that sound more like you. So I'm going to leave all this prompt and everything that I mentioned in the description below too, so you guys can access it if you want. I prompted it with the following. I said, I'm starting a new podcast about generative AI and marketing. Insert whatever topic you want there and need your help with some things. First, provide a backstory about the host, my passion for generative AI and marketing. So really what I'm doing here is it's giving me a bio and a description. This also helps chat GPT better understand what I'm trying to accomplish with this podcast. 
Then I followed up and I said, now I need a podcast title. Provide five unique but attention-grabbing ideas. So provided five ideas, and the one I like the most here is called the AI Marketing Blueprint. So what I did is I copy and pasted that title, came back to 11 Labs, copy and pasted it in this little box here. This is where you would put your title of your podcast. So then I'm coming back to ChatGPT. I said, I like number three. Now I need help with my first episode. Come up with an episode title and a word-for-word -word script of a solo podcast for myself, Ryan, making it only five minutes long. Obviously, do whatever you want. If you want a three-minute long podcast, 10-minute long podcast, you can do whatever. So here it gave the first episode. What is generative AI and why should marketers care? Let's say you don't like that. You can come back and say, actually, I want to talk about this, right? You can keep fine-tuning it. So then it provides a script. But what I don't like about this is it has these placeholders for music, pauses, and it also has my name. So then what I did is I basically said, I don't want placeholders. I said, go back to my script, remove the placeholders, don't mention anything about pauses or music. So here's my updated script. So then what I did is I went ahead and copy and pasted my episode title, came back to 11 labs, clicked chapters, and then I pasted my episode title right here. Then come back to ChatGPT, and here's the entire script. Copy and paste, come back to 11 labs, command A, and then I'm gonna paste that entire script right here. Obviously, you can go through the script if you don't like it, fine tune it, ask ChatGPT to generate a new version, et cetera. But then what you wanna do, this is really important, is you wanna command A, or just basically highlight over all of this text, and you wanna find your voice right here. Then click apply. This is gonna make the entire episode just your AI voice and not the other ones that 11 Labs has by default. So now what we wanna do is let's play this really quick, right? So let's click this drop down, click play until the end. So I'm gonna play just a few seconds of this. Welcome to the very first episode of the AI Marketing Blueprint, the podcast where we simplify the world of generative AI and show marketers how to make it work for them. I'm your host, Ryan Dozer, and I've spent... Very impressive there. Honestly, that's way better than the first iteration that I showed you guys. If you rewind the video, like I said, you have to give 11 Labs time to process that data and make the best AI voice clone possible. So let's say you wanna add another episode where all you would need to do is click this plus button here and it would automatically create a second chapter and then you'd simply come back to ChatGPT or Claude and just prompt it with great. Now make me a second episode that's five minutes long or if you know the exact title that you wanna talk about, you could insert that, come in here, copy and paste the script, obviously fine tune it if you wanna do that, paste it into 11 labs under chapter two and then you have your second episode. So now let's say you want to publish this new AI podcast onto the popular podcasting platforms like YouTube, Spotify for podcasters, etc. Well, what you would need to do here is come up to the top and click convert. And this is where you would click convert chapter. This would chapter meaning episodes. So you want to export the specific episode. So here's the episode that I created right here. So all you would need to do is click convert. And then it's going to say how many credits this will cost you. If you're on the creator plan, this is not a significant amount of credit. You can auto regenerate if you want to do that. I'm just going to click convert and now it's going to start the conversion of this podcast episode. So I'm going to skip ahead after this is complete. All right, so my episode has successfully converted, as you'll see right here, and now I have a download icon. So I'm gonna click that, and that should generate the entire MP3 file of that AI podcast episode. So I'm gonna open this and let's see if it successfully did it. So here we go. But the very first thing I noticed is that this episode was only two minutes and 30 seconds. If you remember, I directed it to do five minutes. So just some errors on the outputs of chat GPT side, but that's expected. It requires a lot of fine tuning if you're doing this for the first time. But as I digress, let's go ahead and listen to what this final episode sounds like on an MP3 file. Welcome to the very first episode of the AI Marketing Blueprint, the podcast where we simplify the world of generative AI and show marketers how to make it work for them. I'm your host, Ryan Dozer, and I've spent years exploring how AI is changing the game for businesses. Today, we're kicking things off with a... That is crazy. That is almost spot on, and it's only going to get better as I give 11 labs more time. I'm so blown away by this technology that this platform is using as it continues to get better. So I'm going to X out of this MP3 file 
file. Now let's think about this, right? Now that we have MP3 files of our AI podcast, we can come and create an account with Spotify for creators, upload the MP3 file, use ChatGPT or Claude to help with the titles, descriptions. You can even use it for the podcast cover art. I didn't talk about that in this video. You could upload it to YouTube, start a podcast on YouTube. You could upload it to SoundCloud or really any other podcast platforms. And that MP3 file might have sounded a little clunky in the output, so I'll be sure to leave a link to that in the video description below so you guys can actually listen to the real audio file of that podcast. You will be blown away like I was. So that is how you generate an AI podcast using your own voice clone with a tool called Eleven Labs and also with the help of ChatGPT or Claude as well. And if you guys found value in this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I also want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Are there any other AI podcasting tools outside of Notebook LM that you guys are using? Want to hear what you have to say. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.